Hi, Dave here, and this is episode 26 of the art review series. And today we are going to uh, take a look at the work of Sang Delon. Now, Sang Delon, um, I'm not actually sure if that's his um, real name or that's his kind of art name. But uh, he does have the only link I have that's kind of very useful is his art station link. Um, and yeah, I do recommend you check out um, Sang Delon. He's a pretty good artist in all, and I can say he does have a lot of very interesting qualities to him, um, skill wise and just in general, right? So if you take a look at this portfolio um, <laughs> on Art Station, you can actually see from the very kind of beginning kind of an overview of his uh, stuff. He does have a lot of feet. <laughs> <laughs> and come on, they're actually pretty well done and I'm very kind of uh, surprised that uh, someone would uh, kind of just be kind of bold and be very kind of out there in terms of that uh, thing. And I think I saw Anthony Jones comment in one of his posts. posts. Um, I think it's somewhere here. I found his... <laughs> you love him feet <laughs> like um, and yeah he does have a lot of feet which is very interesting but he does have more than just beautiful feet he has a lot of character designs he doesn't do many environments um, if he does do environments they're usually in a kind of um, background sense and they're they're very minimal um, they're usually kind of supplementary to some kind of character and as you can see, he does focus more on character designs. And he does have a few pieces. But I'll be showing you this uh, kind of series of posts where he shows you his kind of insight on how he approaches some of his character designs. And uh, yeah. Um, so here it's actually, he does have, he doesn't, he doesn't have a lot of pieces in his portfolio. Um, and that's actually kind of interesting. Maybe he's just a busy guy, but uh, yeah, but they're pretty high quality. So he does have a very solid portfolio in that sense. Um, so he did indicate a kind of color palette in the side. I'm not sure if he did that in the beginning to help guide his painting or it's something he did afterward to kind of uh, just show you the general color scheme. Now you can tell. There's some kind of crusader concept here because of the cross and uh, even the colors are kind of um, expected of a crusader kind of knight, right? And uh, he, you'll notice in kind of Sang Delon's work that he's actually pretty high quality in terms of painting, like very rendered. He can render something pretty well, especially when it comes to skin. So this is one of his, I think, Cleopatra pieces and uh, he does break this piece down. He starts with a very simple line sketch and uh, it, it's actually kind of surprising the way he progresses from a line sketch, a very loose line sketch to a more finished painting. And by finished, I have a different version of what a finished painting is. Um, he's one of those types that brings it to a very kind of like high level just art and uh, he doesn't really use 3D. And, but sometimes if you take, take a look at his work, it will appear like it's some kind of 3D thing. Just because of the way he lights up the uh, the painting or the characters, um, he, he does add a lot of uh, variety. N uh, not necessarily in terms of hues, but in terms of value. And there's, there's a lot of the, these kind of soft radiations from one form to another. And it does add a sense of realism. And from here, after the line sketch, he does do a basic color pass under the line sketch. And um, you can actually see the same, these, the, the purples and the yellows kind of last in the, um, or you can see them in the final painting. Um, and here he does focus more on the character. Now, this is not nude by the way, so please don't. Uh, <laughs> he did separate the background from the person he spent more time on the character obviously you can tell at this point he's already pretty realistic when it comes to the rendering 
Um, and then he put that aside for a second and then he added some textures um, to the background and then spent some time painting. He did want to uh, add a kind of mummy in the background but he eventually um, let the idea go. And then he added the chick again or Miss Cleopatra I think. Um, he added some kind of cloth and then now some lighting. I think this is the final piece and you can tell from the way even the Again, if you focus on the foot. Wow, this is a very big image. Um, I mean, if you kind of squint your eyes, it almost looks very... Like it's a photo, right? Very cool stuff. And, um... <laughs> again, he, the way he paints feet is very... You can tell he's, he's, he's a pro at painting, at painting feet. A grayscale version. Now, he does do this in some of his paintings where... Um, I actually thought he'll do a grayscale painting first and then he'll color it afterward with some kind of blending mode approach. But I think based on some of his artwork breakdowns, he actually does the sketch first and then goes to color. And then as a kind of side note, as he posts his uh, final artworks, um, he'll kind of post a grayscale version. I'm not sure why, but I think he just wants to show you or show folks uh, his kind of breakdown of the values as well. Like where's the most contrast and stuff like that. But I actually don't know the actual reason why, but he does, I think, focus more. He does the color first, and then he just makes a grayscale version in the very end. And he did post a few close-ups of the, the best parts. Now, I didn't post the, the butt because it's kind of shady. Like, should I post it? Mm, I might get flagged. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Oh! This is an Android. I actually thought this, this was a 3D kind of model, but he did say, or in one of his... Because in ArtStation, you can say if it's a digital 2D or digital 3D. Um, he did say it's digital, digital 2D. Um, I do like the fact he added these kinds of lights. Um, kind of chromatic kind of uh, lights or highlights. And obviously, this chick is some kind of Android. And I think the reason why he added those highlights was to indicate the kind of artificialness of this babe. And uh, again, he renders things to a very high quality. Um, you'll have to zoom in pretty well to be able to see his kind of brush strokes. And um, yeah, it's just very interesting the way he paints. Even the eyebrows, he does add some highlights. And it looks very... Again, I'm pretty sure you can kind of agree with me that this thing looks at first um, or even like if you continuously look at this thing it still looks like a kind of 3D rendered um, uh, model and again he does know how to light things uh, he doesn't use very kind of sharp edges for the lighting he likes to use a very natural kind of gradation of lights very soft lights and stuff it's very interesting the way he paints, um, especially when it comes to his characters. Um, very natural looking things. <laughs> and uh, you should check out the comments in the uh, the art station. Um, um, yeah, I think people... Are, it's pretty clear that he does love painting feet. And again, come on, look at this. And you can tell from the kind of white spots, he's using some kind of texture brush. Because you can see some patterns kind of repeat. Um, now this doesn't zoom in as much, he does have a kind of rendered study of a hand and he does sh provide a a close-up of the hand and you can see the kind of uh, the cuts he made with the hard edge brush, maybe with just a simple circle brush with the hard edge to kind of signify or really make clear the silhouette and it's just very interesting. And again, the way he paints the values, very soft gradations. Um, very realistic though. Excuse me. And again, even the way he paints the skin, if you focus on the skin, um, he does show, because if you look at your skin right now, there is a, it's not actually very consistent. There are a lot of kind of breaks in the skin and a lot of hues, a lot of values. And to me, he actually shows those kinds of uh, spots that you get in the skin. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, and even some of the reds that look like capillaries. I think they're called the capillaries. 
Because uh, the only thing, the, the biggest thing you can see is actually the veins, right? The kind of blues and greens. But if you focus in more on the skin, like close in a kind of a close uh, zoomed in view, you can see some kind of red, red baby veins. And I think they're called capillaries, I think. <laughs> Not sure what the medical term is, but he does show them pretty well. And again, so again, check out this highlight right here. He does use a texture brush because you can see a pattern repeating. So in a way, it's kind of indicating some kind of skin. And to me, when he does use the white stuff, it's not pure white, but it's kind of close to white. It does look like this chick is sweating, right? And I think it makes sense. Even with the hair, the hair is kind of sticking across the kind of one plane of her nose. And it's kind of not just falling freely. So maybe she is kind of sweating in a way. And this is a very cool kind of detail. And she does add, oh, uh, he does. I'm actually not sure if it's a he or a she. We'll just say he. Um, does add a nice highlight in the nose as well. And even in the cut of the nose. His edge control is pretty good too. Uh, he knows where to make the, the kind of sharp cuts. Even here, just above the boob near the armpit. See that cut? Even with the elbow cut. Um, of course, the nose. Very cool stuff. And even the way he, paint, he painted the, the eyelid, it's so realistic. Um, you can't zoom in as much anymore um, from this view, but it's, uh, again, very high realism. He has a lot of realism in his work. But combined with some um, <laughs> some stylized work, especially with his full figure characters, he does stylize a few um, or some of his uh, characters. Now this one is more feet stuff. Uh, but again, it's not just the foot. I mean, look at the way he painted the hand. It's very feminine. And you can see he did another uh, piece. One with an android hand and one with a kind of natural human hand kind of almost touching together and they're actually pretty good looking um but let's focus on this piece for a second um lots of hue variety going on and i love the way he painted all of this um it's pretty good with the human anatomy um painting the the kind of mini forms within the big forms of the body and I do suggest you zoom in on his work because you can see a lot of uh, variation in terms of hues. Some greens, some reds, some blues. And it does make the skin look a little more realistic. I mean, he does pump it up a bit. But uh, again, look at that. Very nice cut in the kind of silhouette of the hand. And then some. even the nails are painted well. Um, and again, with the edge control, look at the way he paints the pinky to um, the toes and the separation of the toes. The kind of the in-between parts right here. Cut and then soft. Cut, cut, and then soft. Of course, this is a very kind of high, highly painted thing. But uh, yeah, pretty good highly rendered stuff. Very realistic. And oh, this is the one. He does... I think it's a study of his. I mean, even if you look at this piece right now, it actually looks like a photo. Or at the very least, the kind of 3D rendering of something. Of, of a hand and a... like a leg grayscale version and he did post a zoomed in version and look at that you can see some of his uh like his imperfect cuts that he kind of erased with a circle probably hard edge brush and he does show all of these variations the pinks the yellows the blues the greens and it's not it, it does have kind of a, a spot like effect so it does look like skin in a way, like if you zoom out, it looks very natural and um, yes, very impressive, definitely. Um, <laughs> this is the the one Anthony Jones commented on. Um, and again, now this one, although you can tell from this part, let's say, um, the separation of the foot from the leg, this, this kind of cut right here, look at that edge control. And here you can see the ankle, and then this kind of a uh, kind of a uh, the moment where it becomes the foot, right? He created that nice cut, and then you can even see in some of the edges of this foot. Even in this part, he does erase it. He even shows 
that is not fully erased. And it's actually kind of stylized in terms of the edges. It's kind of uh, slightly stylized because uh, there are some sharp points, right? Even in the kind of a uh, heel of this uh, foot. But the way it's rendered within those forms, within the kind of, uh, within the kind of, sorry, within the kind of stylized form or silhouette, it is painted very realistically, as you can see. And you can see some straight lines right here. Very stylized, not, not super stylized, but he did simplify the forms. But if you zoom out, it looks very um, realistic. And, um, <laughs> and again, his feet stuff, or foot stuff, very sensual looking. Um, very fascinating. <laughs> and I mean, come on, look at this position. Um, I mean, come on. Oh, he did add some pink highlights. He does add some glitter stuff the same way with uh, he did with the kind of chick sweating. They're kind of highlights. Um, done perhaps with a kind of small textured brush. And again, that edge control. Wow, that's... Look at that. And he did add some kind of bottom lighting. Some cyan, blue, um, from the bottom. Very awesome stuff. Oh, this is the hand stuff. Um, so one hand is kind of an android, and one hand is kind of a natural looking hand in a way. It looks very pointy, but it does look a little more real compared to this one. And I'm actually very interested um, as to how he would design a kind of a full-on mech. He does have a few sketches in his art station. I don't think I included it, but he does have some mech kind of sketches. Um, not necessarily fully painted, but look at the way he did this design of the uh, the hand. You know what I'm guessing? I think he just painted this hand first and then flipped it perhaps. And then he changed the forms a bit to make it more Android-ish. And it looks very cool, right? Um, well done. And again, the values are very real. Um, the gradations, it makes it more real. And, e and even with the, um, excuse me. And uh, even with the pinks in the tips of the fingers, it looks very, it adds to that kind of uh, um, naturalness. Because um, that's where the blood usually ends up, right? And then somehow magically goes back to the heart in some way. Um, very cool stuff. Ooh, and he does a few of these kind of um, cover paintings, kind of full-on paintings. With some environment in the background, but it's more about the character um, doing something. Um, very highly rendered. Uh, yeah. And again, lots of lighting values. And even th this hand is painted to a very realistic degree, even though this character is obviously stylized. The way it's rendered in some areas makes it very kind of real and 3D-esque. Um, this could actually be a study of Legolas because <laughs> uh, the blonde hair um, and the bow. And uh, he does thankfully show some of his sketches and you actually see You'll actually see the progression of his sketches to full-on paintings. Um, why, am I why am I not zooming in with my... Yeah, so it's kind of a simple sketch. Um, and then he does paint over it. Or excuse me, paint under it. And he does still show the, uh, the initial sketch. And then from here, there's this nice jump from a sketch kind of thing to a bam. I mean, you can still see the strokes in some areas, but if you zoom out, it's kind of enough. Uh, you don't actually need to zoom in as much. But look at the way he paints the faces. He's pretty good with the faces as well. Very kind of realistic. And with some stylization. But, um... Ah, look at that. Very cool stuff. Um, and I love how he did show a lot of his kind of pencil strokes for the shading. Um, it reminds me of some of the work of Faraz Shanyar. It's not in all of his work, but he does have the, if you check out the soft pastel types of uh, work, I think they were done digitally, but it does look like a pastel piece. Uh, Faraz did, did show a lot of the kind of line strokes. Um, and yeah, uh, 
Sang Delan is doing the same thing here. And yep, yeah, looks very cool. Very kind of concepty, but very kind of high quality at the same time. Oh. So he does uh, break down a few of his uh, character designs. Um, he does break it down in terms of the the kind of flow, the gesture lines in the character. And he also breaks it down in terms of the kind of major blocks. And it's actually very interesting. I think he's trying to teach us <laughs> how to uh, make our designs more interesting. Mm. So I do advise you download these because he does do a good job of uh, breaking down the, the, the images afterward. And here you can see a kind of balanced look, very kind of symmetrical. If you break down the entire thing, looks very balanced. Oh, sorry about that. Just cracked my neck. Uh. And here, yeah, he does try to balance it, things. It's kind of asymmetrical. Um, well, not really. It's just the perspective is just kind of a uh, off or slanted. But yeah, it does have a nice flow. And a nice kind of um, lots of triangles. I think it's trying to use the triangles to kind of stabilize the composition of the character. Because of all the shapes, the triangle is the most um, stable one. So you could use that kind of shape to um, help with kind of balancing or creating some kind of structure for your um, compositions. And trying to find that um, hidden triangle. Now here you can see a triangle in the center and then a kind of block for the legs. Kind of a an obelisk type of shape and then some circles. And then a nice triangle in the middle. And I love how he breaks it down. I'm not sure if he... Uh, maybe this is something he keeps in mind as he's doing the sketch for this one. Um, maybe that's... Yeah, maybe that's why he's uh, sharing these um, kind of breakdowns. Very cool character design. Uh, did he break this down? Not sure. But again, you can see some of his strokes, and even even the knees are painted pretty well. Um, very natural looking knees. Now, obviously, the suit is kind of super tight, um, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he did show the uh, the kind of breakdown in terms of shape, lots of triangles. Um, very abstract and. It does make his character the character designs end up looking very, excuse me, interesting. Now here, I believe he does break down this image in terms of uh, lighting schemes, um, and I think when he paints, he does separate the character from the background, or he he paints in a very kind of organized way, perhaps, because he has this version where there's a light source coming from the bottom. And then some kind of light source coming from the top, but it's not as powerful. And then he, he and then he has this version where um, the strongest lighting is coming from the bottom part again, but the kind of back lighting is kind of reflected light from the environment. And um, maybe this is some kind of lighting study. And he did do some kind of android, by the way, for the design. Um, very cool. Oops, sorry. Very cool. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Shit. Okay, let's go back. Line sketch. Very loose line sketch. And then... There you go. <laughs> it's kind of a jump, but... Uh, I, like, I still like the fact that he does show his initial sketches, how loose they are, and uh, how you can just approach your painting step by step. And eventually you can reach something of this level. Something, something of this level. Um, very high quality stuff. Very loose sketch. <laughs> and I think he is kind of playful with his sketches. And um, 
maybe that does influence the painting the way you feel right if you enjoy your kind of process your painting may actually may actually become more or appear more kind of uh, happy and playful so from this sketch she went from this sketch to um <laughs> this more rendered version um so yeah most of the sketch did remain and then he spent a lot of time rendering uh this trick very realistic face by the way i love the expression i love the uh, the cheek um and again he did show some of his more thinner strokes and obviously we've got another foot very cool stuff um very sensual <laughs> oh shit it's a very big photo um Again, he does sh sh show some of his uh, more thinner line work or brush strokes, kind of like a pencil. Some highlights from this glowing ring. Some kind of cinematic effect with the green. I don't think he used lens correction in Photoshop. Maybe it's just a kind of manual thing. And I think he's trying to indicate the the shit he's trying to indicate the, the 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 footprint the kind of this the skin kind of uh patterns in the foot right yeah and the, and again he does add some texture um <laughs> oh, i love his feet um or not his feet i i love the, the feet the feet that he's painting or the series that he's working on his feet stuff very cool stuff Oh, some high quality shit. Again, very stylized, but in terms of rendering, very kind of 3D and realistic. And again, he does this thing where he does show the grayscale. And again, I personally don't think that he starts with a grayscale and then colors afterward. I think it's something that he does kind of on the side to just show the his value arrangement in the grayscale mode. Um, yeah. Yep. Very cool stuff. And again, another cover kind of photo or image painting. And these are some of his color schemes, trying to figure out the best kind of um, patterns or well, color schemes to work with. And his initial sketches for the image. Yeah, he is pretty good with sketching. It reminds me of Ahmed Alduri, right? He does have very loose sketches, and eventually, as he keeps painting, it becomes more full, right? Very kind of dynamic and loose, energetic. Some more cover stuff. Um, this could be for some kind of game, perhaps. I'm not sure, but uh, very interesting. Lots of effects going on here. And then, of course, a grayscale version of the this thing. And again, here, um, he does the sketch and then he'll immediately afterward go to the painting phase, kind of an underpainting, with colors. Not exactly uh, grayscale. So that's very interesting. Um, and just go back to his Cleopatra painting. He didn't start or he didn't start with a grayscale painting. After the line sketch, he did a colored underpainting and then he just kept going and going with colors and then in the very end he added a he added simply a grayscale version to kind of show a different version of the finished painting very nice line sketch very loose line sketch um and then a more kind of rendered uh version and again you can see some some of these strokes but if you zoom out it looks kind of finished, but if you zoom in, it is kind of sketchy in a way. But it's very... Not very, but it is a little more rendered. Um, uh, another cover photo for maybe another game, I think. And these are the only environments that he gets to paint, I guess. Or the only environments I get to see in his portfolio. Um, 
pretty much everything is kind of a character based thing. Very nice looking bird, kind of a phoenix kind of thing. Ah, oh, this is actually kind of a, a one piece of his that has the kind of cutest, best kind of storytelling to it. Um, because obviously this chick is a kind of fairy, kind of an insect fairy, riding this nice bird. And then this bird is feeding um, her babies, perhaps. And I, I just think this thing is very cool. Um, he doesn't have a lot of these kind of storytelling stuff, but... The way he paints the branch or tree, and the birds even, I mean even the bird, the way it's painted, is kind of realistic, right? And of course the chick, very well done. And he did spend time painting the face to make it look realistic. It's kind of stylized but it's kind of realistic in a way. Um, and even the lighting of the branch, you can see it's kind of varied. Very cool stuff. And look at the bird. This one does have a nice kind of smile. <laughs> and the grayscale version, of course. This one actually does remind me of the shit. I can't remember his name. Uh, Maharbaker, Maharbaker, um, the Angelarium guy. He paints a lot of kind of angels and stuff, like very weird angels. Um, yeah, but this one is obviously because the Maharbaker. God, I can't remember his name. Um, his paintings look very oil painting esque. Um, for Sangdela, it's kind of highly rendered in a way. Very kind of almost 3D in a way. Ah, oh, more foot stuff. But this one he did add wings. Shit, what's the name of the god that sends messages in Greek mythology? Uh, shit. Now, obviously, it's a kind of a god, not a goddess. So, this could be some kind of. Um, um, oh, shit. So we have <laughs> Quentin Tarantino would definitely love these. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino, because um, he is, I think, a director, a very big name guy in Hollywood, and he does have a thing for feet, especially in his films. Um, you all, you almost always find a kind of a series of of images or sequences in a film where he does show off the foot in some way. Or shoe, um, and he does love feet. Nice. Okay, more gestural kinds of sketches. Uh, maybe for a cover piece, and then I think this is the one he stuck with. Boom. Now I don't think he painted this in grayscale. I think he went directly to uh, the color. And then he kind of showed a grayscale version. My opinion, not sure what his actual process is for this piece, but uh, based on his breakdowns, that's what I think he does. Um, I love this kind of dragon design. Uh, I'm not sure how it's functional, but uh, it's cool nonetheless. Again, more feet stuff. And again, notice the uh, the cuts, edge control between the toes the skin characteristics so maybe he did use some brushes here because you can see if you focus in hopefully hopefully you can see this these kinds of uh, lines scratches maybe he does have a few brushes to help with the texturing and again nice cuts to separate the ankles and the kind of fat Oh, and some strokes. Uh, another line sketch. Very kind of dynamic. Um, very Ahmed Alduri esque. Because um, if you check out Ahmed again, Alduri, his sketches are very loose. In it's kind of in this kind of manner or fashion. Um, yep, more sketches. Very loose. And um, he does play a lot with the shapes, the big shapes, the big forms. 
and he does have a few anatomical breakdowns. I did love the way he painted the abs or the midsection, that kind of breakdown. Very interesting. And even the hands, kind of cool. And again, he does a lot of kind of big swooping lines and he does kind of constrain a certain kind of silhouette or shape. Very kind of wholesome shapes. Uh, very kind of graphical in a way. More line sketches. Character designs. A grayscale painting. Oh, he does show a lot of the uh, the pencil X strokes. Shit. Oh, and then he painted over it. Nice. Oh, it's not very finished in the back, but uh, it's good enough. He does spend time with the faces though, uh, to make it look more real or rendered. But you do see a lot of the the strokes and even some of those highlights, the kind of squiggly highlights um, that he did with the uh, the android in the beginning, the face. He did apply it here a bit. Um, wonderful forms. Very tight, obviously. A um, nice hand. Um, very thin though. Oh, it's obviously stylized, but uh, I love the way he did this cut in the kind of hip part. Okay. More line sketches, trying to work on a cover perhaps, and then grayscale. He probably did this afterward. He did the uh, the colored version. Could be for some game, maybe. I love his characters though. Um, and again, the way he paints the faces. Very close to. Uh, um, very realistic, I'll say that. And the way he paints the midsection. I do love the fact that he shows off the, the kind of pencil like strokes. Very nice touch. God. <laughs> Big. Um. Oh yeah, more character designs. This could be for some kind of game. I love this expression though. Um. Oh, this phase actually looks a little more realistic. Um. But she is kind of thick though. She might be kind of a muscular chick. <laughs> Cause uh or maybe it's just the clothing. Oh, so she is some kind of archer crossbow woman. Cool stuff. Yeah. Very nicely rendered. You can even see some of the small strokes in the gun. But the face is very highly rendered. Lots of kind of soft brushes, probably. Um, oh, this is actually my favorite piece of his portfolio. I think it's because of the expression. Um, very stylized, obviously. But um, I do love both their expressions. These two could be kind of twins, perhaps. Um, first of all, they, they look similar. And they're obviously wearing the same thing. And uh, it's kind of a nice character thing. A character story that he tries to put in. Um, yeah, my favorite piece, definitely. Um, she does have a smug look. Um, <laughs> she, this one does have a very kind of a weird look. <laughs> this one, though, I do like the kind of smugness. Mm. Very sharp, but by the way. Um, he does have a color version, and again, he does have a grayscale version. 
Um, so maybe for this one, perhaps he did start with the grayscale painting. Maybe. Because his colored work is kind of a little more defined. So perhaps he did start with a grayscale. Excuse me, painting. Possibly. Yeah, I do think so. Um, very cool effects though with the kind of smokiness. Um, perhaps a cover for a game. Very highly rendered. You can see a lot of these in shit. I'm, uh, League of Legends. I think they're called splash art. I'm not sure if that's the right term, but you know what I mean. The kind of highly rendered stuff, the marketing kind of images, um, usually very stylized in terms of uh, the well style. <laughs> And I think this is his last recent piece. Um, I love the way he painted the palm, cause uh, he does show the multiple the multiple forms within the kind of hand, and uh, it's just very interesting. Although it's kind of off to me, um, especially with the face, cause the face seems very real to me, and um, it's not necessarily bad or wrong, but it's just too real. <laughs> I'm saying it like it's a bad thing, but maybe you're kind of seeing the same thing. I think it's because the environment is kind of stylized and then the face is like an actual person. Um, granted, very kind of uh, hyper pretty and it's almost impossible. Um, but you know, it's kind of a, a realistic painting, right? Maybe you can see it. What I do like though is if you focus on the leg, uh, especially with the hues, the, the blues, the greens, and then the pinks, the reds, uh, the purples. It does have, if you've, if you've ever... <laughs> if you've ever opened up a clam, or a kind of shellfish, shellfish. They do have this kind of rainbow effect inside them, um, which is very cool and uh, interesting. And obviously, it's coming from the uh, the sword. It's kind of a magical sword, but uh, yeah, very nice kind of lighting effect. And I even like the way he painted the background. Very simple, but uh, good enough to kind of let the the uh, character be the focus. Um, and even the clouds are very kind of very dynamic. Like they actually follow the this kind of swooping line. Yeah, so that's it for Sang Delan. Um, do I do recommend you check out his art station? Follow him there, and um, do like his work. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the art review series. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Keep painting and uh, stay free.